Right. Yeah, I want to show you how you can do the surface development of a truncated square prism. How you can construct the surface development of a truncated square prism. When we talk about a truncated solid, it means that that solid is caught at a particular point. So the solid is caught at a particular point as you can see here. So what I have here is the flustrum of a truncated square prism so it is cut so part of it is cut off and this is what we have left so we want to develop or make the surface development of what we have here now what i as i've said in the first video on the surface development is that we cut the object as a particular point so we are cutting it here and we open it so by cutting it here we open it and we want to look at what we are going to get so whatever we get is the surface development of this truncated square prism. So what I'm going to do here is that I'll just produce the uh, by cutting it here, I will spread it. So I'm not going to put the top shape and also the bottom shape there. So I only want to open it here and spread it. That's what I want to do. So here we've been given the front elevation and the top view. And the top view we are given given the front elevation and the top view of a complete square prism so this is what we are given so what i want to do now is that so i'm going to so if we have here so we have number this one two three four and we are we are cutting it here this is the seam this is where we have the seam so we are cutting it cutting from here and we open it so what you need to do now is that from this point from this point so draw the horizontal line and you take it up here you also draw a horizontal line here like this okay so after drawing the horizontal line so the next thing that you need to do is that at this point where this cutting plane this is the cutting plane that cut it so the cutting plane xx cut it at this point and also cut it at this point touch this point here and touch or touch this line here at this point and also touch this, this line here at this point actually here i've numbered this as one prime four prime as we have here as one four so this line this line contains one and four and this line contains two and three so now so at this point the cutting plane cut line line one and four at this point so draw a horizontal line from this point like this and then it also meets line 3 at this point so draw a horizontal line from here like this so after you have done this the next thing that you need to do is that so take your cell square and move away from the elevation and draw a vertical line like this okay so since we are cutting from here from this point since we are cutting from this point, so I will call this point, I will call it point one. Then the next thing that you are, you are going to do is that, all right, the next thing that you are going to do is that, so take the length of the side of the square like this, so put it at this point one here and make four arcs one, two, this is three and this is four so four x so now so i'm going to number this so this is two and this is three this is four and back to one so back to one because we are cutting from here and this is where we have one and four so back to one now from this point draw vertical lines So draw vertical lines or vertical, vertical line at each point. Okay. All right. So after doing this, so after doing this, the next thing that we are going to do is to locate uh, 
the point as you based on where the cutting plane touch the this line and this line so here we have one and four we have one and four here so coming here you follow this horizontal line that comes out from point one so you follow this line and you also follow this vertical line so this is horizontal line one and this vertical line one so they intersect at this point they intersect at this point here and then we also have one on this side so it intersects here now and i said that okay so now for two so this horizontal line two and vertical line two they intersect here and don't forget that we also have three at this point here we also have three at this point so horizontal line three vertical line three intersect at this point here intersect here now we also have four at this point one and four they are this point so horizontal line four vertical line four they intersect at this point here so we are going to join this together with the use of our ruler so join this together so join this together in straight lines so So you join the point together, straight lines, and here, and and then, so you can see this. These are edges. These are edges of the prism which you can see them see them so we need to make them thick lines okay and okay and then so we also make this thick lines as a thick line okay so what we have here is the surface development of a truncated square prism as we have here so it's as simple as i've explained it here just practice it and you will surely know it better thank you